What is going on guys? Welcome to 25th Android App Development Tutorial. This is again Shrix from SmartHerd. Now guys, there is a very small topic that I left in the Activity Lifecycle Tutorials. So, you can say this is a continuation of the previous tutorial. Now, let's move forward. Now, our concept of activity and its life cycle is based on a structure known as stack. Now, stack supports last in, first out. Now, when you click open your activity, then activity A gets visible, right? Now, when activity A gets visible, then this stack starts filling. The first element that fills this stack is the activity A itself. That is why it gets visible on your screen, right? Now, when you click on a button to open the activity B, then in that case, this is the on resume state, activity A goes to on stop state. Now, the second element that fills the stack is the activity B. Now, this activity A goes to on stop state. It is not destroyed, that is why it is still present in the stack, right? Now, when you click on a button to migrate to the activity C, then in that case, again the activity C comes to on resume state, then on stop state activity B and at the top of the stack we are having the activity C right now. When the user press the back button then in that case activity C goes to on destroy state and the activity C closes right. This much we know now. Simultaneously event also happen in case of stacks in Android right now. When activity C gets destroyed then activity C in the stack gets popped out. That is why we say stack follows last in first out. The element which enters the last comes out first, right? Now the space in the stack is now empty, right? Now at the top what is present? Activity B is present. So we can say the activity B comes to the on resume state, right? And activity B is visible, right? Now again when we press the back button then in that case Again activity B gets destroyed and the stack again pops out the activity B. So the space at the activity B gets empty, right? Now we are only left with activity A and simultaneously on start on resume activity method is executed. So we are able to see the activity A because it is now present at the top of the stack, right? Now when again we press the back button that is we move out of the application in that case on pause on stop on destroy is executed and finally activity a gets destroyed as we had learned earlier right now simultaneously in the android stack the activity a gets popped out that is the stack now becomes empty and at the end the memory gets free because the application is not running so our ram memory gets free right now this was a very small concept that I left in the previous tutorials. All you have to know that our activity life cycle is based on the concept of stack, right? There is a stack that holds the activity displayed to you and when you move back then stack pops that activity out or it destroys that activity and we are able to see the activity below that element, right? So in this way our activity life cycle works. Hope all the stuffs that I taught you is totally clear guys. If still you have any doubt please leave a comment below my video and subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. This is Shrakes from SmartHerd signing off and have a good day. Thank you.